Well, morning, guys. Yesterday afternoon, we quickly came down here in front of Ibedin, just before Pamula. Lovely scratching area, just don't fish it on your own. And have some pepper spray or something, because every now and again, there's been some incidents where they come and try and steal your cell phones and stuff. So fish together with some friends. But guys, this is such a lovely scratching spot. We came yesterday afternoon, we got rained out. I got a lovely, nice lemon fish. Um, only fished for, a, for a, about 40 minutes to an hour, really, and uh, picked up the nice lemon fish. But to this morning, specifically, and we're a bit late, I'm coming looking for the brusher. We had to finish some other stuff this morning first. And you want to fish this area on a fairly low tide, where all your edible fish comes in, bronze bream, rock cod, um, obviously the brusher we're here for, and then all funny kinds of uh, species, lovely species. This area obviously don't get fished a lot on weekends, there's a couple of guys, but we came, came through the week now to see what we can get. And uh, Hendrik here, local, is helping us out this morning. And he got me some fresh crabs quickly, picked up some yesterday. And remember, you must have a bait collecting license to do that. So I'm going to put a fresh crab on what I'm using. The Saltus 40, the smaller one. I've got 0.47 Daiwa tournament on here. Actually, I think it's 0.42. Just remember. 4.3, 4.3 it's actually. Then I've got the Siglon Ferrocarbon, 0.75 I'm using. And uh, just, I'm using a grab sinker. I loosen it up a bit so when I get stuck, it pops open so it's not too tight and uh, Hendrik said there's no other bait I should use in this area than one of the ghost crabs on the side here so we're gonna put that on and he's busy preparing it there for us we'll have a look now what he's done and then I'm using the Saltus 14 foot 2 heavy multiplying rod and for my leader line I'm also using Siglon fluorocarbon 0.76 very strong line good abrasion resistance especially in between the rocks the guys will fish one mil and even higher in between the rocks for the rock card and the brush and stuff. I'm happy and I'm confident with a Siglon 0.76, still a thinner line, more movement to my bait, and a very, very strong line. Hendrik, let's see what you did there. This one first, on top. This one must go up first. Okay. Then, like this. You put it, no. oh, like that. Yeah, well, then you put it onto the line? Right or? to the line. Okay. Right, and the next one, do the same. Hey. Showing the tricks here and there. Okay guys, very interesting way Hendrik just showed me. You're gonna slide obviously that down to your hook. Look at that. Lovely little bait. There's no way a brusher will leave that. Uh, we normally just take the, the top shell of the crab off, either halve it and use half or use the whole one and tie it to the back of your hook shank. But this now obviously they use without cotton. And uh, hey, that might just do the trick, let's hope so. Would love to get a brusher. They've been around, I've spoken to the divers, they're in the area, come through in the mornings, but they, they love that before six already. Now we here and it's about 20 past seven already. So we way late. The main beach of Hebedeen is about 700 meters that way. We're about 500 meters from Spray Rocks and there's a very nice hole in between the rocks here, which we're gonna give a good shot, but it's a hit and hold story. I can see it somewhat clearly. You're gonna have to hold that brusher. Okay. You know if you want this? Still alive. Still alive. We just hook it on. Starter, main course, and dessert for the brusher. So you can get cracking now. That that looks very appetizing. Just the sand, otherwise I would have eaten it. That was quite unfortunate, a very nice bronze bream, well over two kilos. 
It came off in the pool here, yeah? and the pool is just too deep for me to catch it. So we'll try another one. I hope he doesn't chase the rest away. Strong fight, very strong fish. Let's go put it back. Wow, that's awesome. He's got a nice fish. I'll probably have one more throw and then I have to go. It's actually Caroline's birthday, I think she hates me already. Supposed to come only for two hours. So, have one more throw, see what we can catch, and then pack it up.